everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen me before, my name is Katie, and today I'm here to do a video that's a little bit different compared to other things I posted here so far. And today I'm going to talk about my journey so far uh, through graduate school. Now, if this is something you're not interested in, if you're more interested in the Disney content, that's okay. You don't have to watch, although I wouldn't mind if you did. But if this is just not your cup of tea, that's okay. Next week, I am planning on having another Disney-related video, so come back for that. But like I said, today I am here to talk about my graduate school journey so far, and um, my thoughts on it, and what's to come. So let's just dive in. I'm going to start with my actually my education background, uh, just to kind of set the stage. So I graduated in 2011 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Musical Theater from Jacksonville University. I graduated a semester early and um, when I was an undergrad I really did like musical theater. I grew up doing theater all my life but towards the end of my program I realized that I didn't want to pursue theater as a career but I was so far along in my degree that I was like you know what let me just fast track it and finish so I overloaded on classes and I finished in December 2011. I was supposed to graduate in May 2012. So after graduating um, and kind of leading up to it, I had decided that I wanted to pursue a master's degree in nutrition. And uh, this is something I wanted to do for a little bit. I was really interested in how the human body works and processes foods and uh, sports nutrition. But I, We'll say I'm not the best at the hard sciences, so I was taking these prerequisite classes for nutrition and I just was realizing that chemistry was really difficult. So I decided, I did those classes, but then I decided that I wanted something a little bit different. And flash forward to me moving to DC in 2012 and then I was in DC and in 2013 I decided to apply for graduate school for the first time. And uh, at this point, I decided I wanted to do a degree in public health, but there I wanted a very s specific specialization, and I wanted to do part physical activity and part public health. And there aren't too many programs for what I wanted to do, but there were two schools, technically three at the time, but I applied for two schools that had the specific program that I wanted to do, and I applied for another school that had a really good public health program. So I applied to the University of Florida, which had a very, or still does, have a very good public health uh, master's program. I also applied to University of South Carolina and Georgia Washington University in DC. These two schools had a degree, it was a master of public health in physical activity and public health. So it's a very long-winded thing, basically it was part sports physiology and all that, and then part public health. So. I was accepted to both University of South Carolina and George Washington University, and then I was sort of conditionally accepted to the University of Florida. Uh, they wanted me to do their certificate program first, and then I could apply to go into the full master's program, which is kind of interesting seeing as what I did later, but I'll get to that. So. Ultimately, I decided to go to George Washington because I was already living in DC, but this was probably the most expensive out of the three, and I lasted one semester. I did a fall semester, and I really underestimated the graduate school experience. If anyone wants a longer video on my first semester of graduate school, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to talk about it, but it was a very difficult time. <laughs> um, I initially started by taking four courses. I was working three quarter time at um, my retail job, working at a renting store, and it was just crazy. And having not had the background in public health and have, coming from an arts background was very difficult. So ultimately, I went down to three classes and I uh, did okay. I got not the best grades, at least that status I would put myself at, but I made it through and finished the semester and I was done with that. And I was like, you know what, I'm not going to keep putting all this money into a program where I'm not 100% in. So I just took time. I went and I worked, um, you know, for a few more years at the running store and then I got into my current job now where I've been for two and a, almost two and a half years. Macy's decided to join us for the rest of the video. Um, so. 
I, you know, I think it was great for me to build up work experience, make some more money. And then last summer, I started to get the itch again to go back to school because it's always been my goal to pursue a master's degree. And, you know, working in the retail industry, working in, I also worked in race timing as an event timer. So being around events like that. And then in my current job, which is very much travel oriented or travel focused, um, but it's still in the running industry. I realized that I really had an interest in marketing communication because a lot of my job is communicating and talking to people and educating people. And my team reports to the marketing team in our home office in California. So I started looking at degree programs and I knew given my current job that I would need to do it online. And so I was looking for, I really, what I really, really want to do is event coordination and communications like management. I looked for programs that were primarily online and there are a few great ones, but the one that definitely rose right to the top of my list was with the University of Florida, which I did grow up in Gainesville, Florida. So uh, that is my hometown. That's my home school. That's, you know, the football team I root for. That's everything. And I looked at the program and it was pretty much what I wanted, but there's no real event coordination degree out there. So I decided to go more into public relations. So at the point when I found this program, it was late June, early July, and I wanted to start in the fall, but I my GRE scores that I'd taken years ago were outdated and I knew I had to retake the GRE, but I didn't have time. I wanted to make sure I studied for it and make sure I got a better grade on the exam. So I decided let's just apply for the certificate program. All the credits would transfer into the full master's program and I would be good. So I decided to apply for their global strategic communication graduate certificate program, which all those credits, like I said, would transfer directly into the public relations degree. So I applied, I got in and I started last fall. And last fall, I took two courses. The two classes I took were International Public Relations and Strategy and Messaging. And they were pretty interesting. I really enjoyed the Strategy and Messaging course a little bit more because we really got to put together a whole communications plan of a company of our choosing, which I did pick the company I currently work for, you know, keep what you know, you know, do what you know. And I got a great grade in that. I also got a great grade in the other class too. It was just a lot of work, my professor was very meticulous, very difficult, which master's degree programs should be. So really enjoyed those courses. And then I started my spring courses that I finished a few weeks ago. And I took strategic writing for public relations and data storytelling and visualization. And I was petrified at the data storytelling class because it was very much out of my wheelhouse. A program that I didn't know, we learned a program called Tableau. And I was just not, I didn't think I was going to do well, but I actually ended up doing really well. I really enjoyed the class. The other class was okay. Um, we had, it was sort of similar to the strategy and messaging course, to be honest. Um, I didn't get as much out of it, but I still got a great grade in that too. So finished the certificate. Hopefully I'll get that in the mail soon. And I, during all this, mind you, in this semester, I moved from DC back down to Florida. I had to retake the GRE, which I did in early March, and I had to get my letters of recommendation put together, my application, my, um, you know, all my statement of purpose, my resume, and all that. So I had to get all that together. It was all enough to get in. I was accepted into the Master of Arts in Mass Communication with a specialization in Public Relations and Communication Management program. So it's it's a mouthful, but I am very excited. I have I start my courses again in a couple weeks for summer and I have another three to four semesters of school because I take typically two courses a semester but it really depends on how I decide to divide it out it'd be four semesters if I decide not to take three courses in one semester which I probably won't because master's degrees and master's classes are a lot more rigorous than your undergraduate and when you're working full-time like I am and like many people who do a master's degree who are maybe doing it a few years after they've graduated undergrad, you're working full-time or at least part-time and it's difficult to maintain three, four, five classes because you're doing a lot of work in these classes. So 
And with my semester, my semester is only 12 weeks long versus 16, so you're getting all this information that's compacted even more, and it's a lot. So, so yes, that is my graduate school journey. And, um, you know, about the University of Florida, I am loving this program. If you're at all interested in pursuing a master's degree online um, in mass communication, they have a lot of different specializations outside of PR. They have, like, web analytics, social media, um, a couple, of, well, they have, like, a lot more. But, and you can kind of cross over, like, I might be taking a social media course. A lot of, like, marketing and communications jobs out there also want some social media experience, in, you know, like, in Adobe and all that. So, it's just different programs that I want to learn. So that's it. That's kind of just a very brief sort of video that's kind of all over the place, but I definitely would like to talk a little bit more about my graduate school life and journey and all that and being an online student. I definitely think it's a little bit more unique. I don't see a whole lot of YouTubers that talk about that. It's more undergrads, in school, like on campus, which is fine. I, I do kind of watch those still. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about being a, an online graduate student through a program that's pretty dang good in my opinion. It's a very competitive application process and everything. So if y'all have any questions about either just being an online graduate student in general or any questions about my specific program, please leave them down in the comments below and let me know if there's any other videos uh, relating to graduate school that you would like me to talk about. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on this video and watching it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in content that is like what I posted today or any other content like videos I've already posted, like such as Disney, I plan on doing a little bit more running related content here soon, uh, please you know, hit that subscribe button down below. I would love it if you would join my little family here. And also please follow me on Instagram. I am trying to get a little bit more into it and I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of sort of become this Disney, Harry Potter, Universal sort of uh, feed right now, but uh, I'm enjoying it and maybe you will too, so please give a follow over there. So again, thank you all again so much for watching and I hope you have the most magical week ever. Bye!